Okay, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss your paper three, huh? Ujian Amali Science, uh, Chemistry paper three. So let's get right to the question. Now, the topic that we are going to discuss today is the rate of reaction. So you are required to conduct an experiment to determine the rate of reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid at different temperatures. Right. Write the procedure for the experiment. Okay. This is a little bit different from uh, my physics video earlier. Huh? Because the physics video, let me show you. Uh, it says plan the experiment and then it says it should include methods to conduct variable and precautionary steps. But this one, you can see the question is different. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say it should contain method to, contain method to control variables and precautionary steps. It just says write the procedure. So if you get a question like this, you will be expected to write the full procedure for three marks. Whatever you feel, I feel even more. Huh? So write the procedure for the experiment. Okay, so let me teach you a technique. This is the technique that I teach my students for paper two. So the technique to write procedure is very simple. The first one is always measure and prepare. Okay. Whatever you need to measure and prepare, you write first. Measure. Uh, so this one will be either volume or mass. Lah. All right. Measure volume or mass. And then prepare. Prepare meaning anything you need to arrange first before the experiment. Measure and prepare. Okay. So in this experiment, what are we going to measure and prepare? So we are going to use hydrochloric acid. All right. So we have to measure the hydrochloric acid. Now, when you write the measure part, you must be very specific with the volume and the concentration of any solution, right? So step one will be measure. Here, we're going to use 50 cm cube. Uh, if you use in a beaker, 50 cm cube, good enough. Measure 50 cm cube of x mole per dm cube. This one depends on what they give you, all right? So you put here whatever value they give you, mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid, mention, what is the apparatus that you use to measure? Using a measuring cylinder and pour. Measure after you measure is always pour. Measure and pour. Any solution is like that. Measure, pour. Okay. Measure and pour into a beaker. Done. Now, anything else we need to measure? So here, this is going to be a reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Here, we're going to use a magnesium strip. All right. So anything else you need to measure? No need. Nothing else to measure. Right. Okay. So, um, Magnesium strips already there. So anything to prepare. Okay. So here we are going to use different temperatures. So the first temperature we will use is room temperature. So what do we need to do? You need to record the room temperature, right? So the first thing you're going to do is record the temperature using a thermometer. Actually measure and record. Measure and record the temperature of X the hydrochloric acid always mention this eh? with the hydrochloric acid with the thermometer finish measure and prepare done settle all right okay so after you've done measure and prepare then the next step will be to start the experiment start the experiment after measure and prepare, you start so you have to mention the action that you do to start the experiment what is the main action that we are going to do to start the experiment here again <clears throat> This is a reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. How do you start the experiment? Take the magnesium, put inside the acid, right? So we are going to place the magnesium ribbon, 3 cm cube, okay, into the beaker with hydrochloric acid and immediately start the stopwatch. This is very important for rate of reaction question. Eh? You must mention this, immediately start the stopwatch because the moment the reaction starts, we have to start ready because we want to, we want to measure how long it takes for the reaction to complete. So you need to immediately start, all right? Okay, so we already start the experiment, done. Now, after you start the experiment, what's the next step? Next step will be to observe and record. Right? Observe and record. So observe and record. Okay, what are we going to observe here? So we are going to take the time, isn't it? The time taken for magnesium to complete, the reaction to be completed. So we are going to stop the stopwatch as soon as the reaction has completed. This is the observation here in this particular experiment. You have to see what the experiment is and then you have to state how are you collecting your observation? How are you, what are you observing? What exactly it is are you measuring? Okay, you must state all that in observe. Now, record. 
everything done ready very simple just put record in a table done finish okay now the last step once you've done observe and record you remember the four steps huh? measure and prepare measure whatever state whatever you measure prepare Number two, start the experiment. Okay, what you do to begin the experiment. Number three, take all your observations, all your measurements, all right? After that, finally, it will be repeat. Repeat the experiment using whatever is your manipulated variable, all right? So repeat the experiment. So what are we going to do here? We're going to use different, different temperatures, isn't it? Different temperature of what? What are we going to heat up here? We're going to heat up the acid, isn't it, all right? So you just say repeat steps one to whatever your steps are. Here we got five steps. So repeat step one to five. Okay, by using the same concentration of acid that has been heated to this. Okay, so we have another four values here. Total five. Why I give total five here? Because the experiment, your textbook, which is the sodium thiosulfate one, has five. All together, total five. Initial one, repeat four times. You have to see the paper, look at the instruction, read carefully, see whether they have any hint, how many, how many they want. All right. Okay. That's it. Finish. After repeat, done. Okay. So these are the four things you need to take note of. Okay. State one observation in the experiment. So chemistry experiment, we always have observation inference. Eh? So observation from the experiment means what you really, what you actually observe. Don't try to uh, analyze anything. This is not analysis question. All right. Don't infer anything yet. Don't, don't, don't uh, base it on any theory. Strictly what you see, what you see in the experiment. Okay. So what do we see in the experiment? What will happen here when you put magnesium in acid? When you put metal in acid, what will happen? There will be colorless gas, isn't it? Okay, there will be colorless gas, right? So I always tell my students, you want to understand what's happening in the reaction, write the equation, all right? Write the equation. So we have Mg and then we have HCl. What are we going to get? We will get magnesium chloride and water, I mean, and hydrogen gas, isn't it? Right? Magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Finish. This is what's happening. So what will we observe? Colorless gas is bliss. Why colorless gas release? So then we go to inference. Now, please don't confuse this inference with the physics inference. Totally different. Totally different. Okay. This inference is strictly for the answer here, for this observation. Inference for observation. This is how we've been doing all this while in your science, in your lower forms and your standard six and all that. Okay. Say the inference for the observation simply means explain the observation. Why is the observation like that? Right? So why is the observation like that? Why is colorless gas uh, released? Because hydrogen gas is produced. That's why. That's all. Finish. All right. Okay, now state the following for the experiment. Manipulative variable. So what's the manipulative variable here? What are we changing at the beginning of the experiment? That will be the temperature of hydrochloric acid. Please don't just write temperature. Huh? Temperature of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so what is the responding variable? Responding variable, what we get at the end. What do we measure at the end in this experiment? It will be the time taken for the reaction to complete. Isn't it? That's what we're measuring, right? Okay. And what is the fixed variable? So whenever we are talking about rate of reaction, if you are testing one of the variables, one of the factors affecting the rate of reaction, everything else must be constant, right? What are the other factors? The other factors are concentration, uh, the size of particle, and then the um, presence of catalyst, right? So the only one relevant to this experiment will be concentration, lab, right? However, you always put, okay, you always put, uh, volume and concentration, volume and concentration. Okay, now in the in the textbook, there's a, a bit of extra, there's a bit of, it's a bit special here. So what we are going to do is we are going to fix the length of the magnesium ribbon used because if you use more magnesium ribbon, then it won't be uniform anymore. So this is the one given lah. Right? This is the one given. So use this length of magnesium ribbon. This is not in the textbook, sorry, but but this is length of magnesium ribbon has to be constant every time. You repeat the experiment okay you have to start with 3 cm then only you can compare the temperature otherwise the length of 
uh, magnesium ribbon will also affect the outcome, right? Will also affect the time taken. Now, as a standard, we always add volume and concentration of hydro. Right? That's it. Always as a standard. Whenever there is a solution, the volume and concentration of the solution must be kept constant, unless you are manipulating the concentration, of course. All right. Volume concentration hydrochloric. Okay. Variables done. Variables done, then we can answer hypothesis, isn't it? What's the format for hypothesis? Hypothesis format is very simple. When MV increases or decreases, okay, RV increases or decreases. This is the format that we use. Okay. So how do you answer this? What is the MV here? What's the manipulated variable here? It's the temperature, isn't it? So we start with when the temperature of the hydrochloric acid increases. This is the, when the MV increases. Eh? Okay. Then, comma, RV increases or decreases. So what happens when the temperature increases? The time taken for the reaction to complete will decrease because it will happen faster, isn't it? Time taken will decrease. Done. You can also go on to say for the RV, eh, you can also say the rate of reaction increases. No problem. Okay. Then both should be accepted. All right. Okay, so this is the format, right? Okay, operational definition for rate of reaction. Now, once again, chemistry is very uh, clear. Chemistry is very clear. We've been doing this for a long, long time, okay? Must have two things. Chemistry, your operational definition must have two things. That is, number one, what is done? Okay, number two, what is observed? Must, must have these two things, okay? So, we start with what is observed. The what is observed here, it, so it must be related to the outcome of the experiment. In other words, the RV. Okay. So what did we actually observe? Don't say rate of reaction. Did you observe the rate of reaction? No, you didn't observe it. I hope you can tell the difference. You didn't observe the rate of reaction. Rate of reaction is something you calculated later on, isn't it? Right. So here, when you observe, what do you observe here? So now, um, in this case, what we observe is the time taken, isn't it? The time taken for the magnesium to react completely. That's what we observe. Okay, that's what is observed. Now, now you link back the observation to what is done to get the observation. What did we do so that we can collect the time taken, so that we can measure the time taken for the magnesium to react completely? What did you do so that this can happen? To produce this outcome, to produce this observation. What did we do to produce this observation? What did we do? We added the magnesium ribbon to the acid, isn't it? Magnesium ribbon is placed in the hydrochloric acid. That's what you did so that we can observe the time taken. Right? So how to answer this question? How to answer this question? Very simple. Okay. So we say the operational definition for rate of reaction will be what is observed when what is done. So we will say the time taken for reaction to complete, uh, to react, the time taken for magnesium to react completely. Okay, so this one is done. What is observed finish? Okay, when, we put when, what is done. So what, what do we do? When the magnesium ribbon is placed in the hydrochloric acid, finish. All right, so this is operational definition. Now, one more thing, actually, the table for this, I just want to tell you how to do the table. Let's say they ask you to tabulate data. So here, what we are taking is the time. What we are measuring is the time. The time taken, that means we only have time. We don't have rate of reaction. Eh? So what you need to do is just measure, put the temperature, put the time. Okay, so depends on the question. Sometimes the, sometimes the question will ask you to calculate rate of reaction. So if they ask you to calculate rate of reaction from this, from the time, how do you do? So I just want to remind you here how to calculate rate. Eh? So rate of reaction, okay, when they only give you time, that means there's no other quantity, there's no change in volume, there's no change in mass, nothing. Only time. The rate will be 1 over time. And if your time is in seconds, then the unit will be per second. Okay, if you are using a digital stopwatch, always record the time to 
two decimal places. Right. Okay, students, uh, this is all I have for you today. All the best to you, all the very best. Uh, just please read the question carefully. Don't assume everything will come out just like how we prepared. Okay, don't assume the same experiment will come out. Don't assume anything. Just be prepared. Read the question carefully. Slowly do. All right. Just follow all the techniques that I've taught you in this uh, video. Okay. So uh, if you want more resources, you can head over to mrworldtuition.com. Okay. Um, all the best. Huh? All the best.